Vilken melodi var det? Gemma Lena, nej nej nej, jag liker inte den. Dag 3. Ja, självklart vi är på dag 2. Hur många dagar är det innan vi spelar? Jag får se i det imorgon. Hej du. Ja, det lyste ut det så det var bra. Where are you, Lissy? Ah! Får jeg se... Er det noe spesielt han sier nå, da? Hmm... Lissy? Det gjorde jeg, det trengte jeg kanskje ikke å gjøre. Ready? Is that you? Where are you? Right up the stairs, Teddy. How do you do it? Sit down. This is her room. Hmm. Are you paying attention, Ruth? Yeah. Can you imagine? One moment you're living a perfectly happy life, and then nothing. Who had darkness? Who had this about it? Who had this about it? Maybe there's something here that can tell us what happened to her. This is a waste of my time. We might be the only ones left to tell her story, Edward. You're just being melodramatic. I'll help you look. There's still no sign of the Fretlands. Maybe they left town after Ruth died. What's the point of this? I should be looking for Betty. I hate you sometimes. Ja, det gjør jeg også. Kan vi ikke bare se gjennom? Kanskje vi finner ut... Det må være en kobling mellom Ruth og Betty her, altså. Ruth var en artist. Dette er veldig primitiv. Har du noen gang møtt en barn, Edward? Hun var ikke Monet, hun var eitt. Dette må være byen kjøkken. Det er Ruth og hennes familie på en side av øyene. Simon og hans far på den andre. En kommunen er dividet. Hun var åtte, ja. Usch. Hun får meg åtte år, og så blir det... She found something. Where's that supposed to be? The cave. Or the... Mine. It could be. But what did she find? Something important enough to draw. Ser ut som det er en skattekiste. Kanskje hun fant... Kanskje hun fant en vikingsskatt. Det er kanskje derfor hun har den nåla på dokka si. Draugen. Hey, the undead monster from those folk tales you read. Hmm? What an odd book for a child to have. I don't know. Children love scary stories. This looks interesting. Read some of it to me, please. Oh, no, find this what Draugen is for now. Yeah, please. Yes, spent. In Norwegian folklore, the appearance of Draugen the reanimated corpse of a drowned mariner, Harold's death. Draugen haunts the Black Seas in a shattered boat. The beast has a man's body and wears a sou'wester. But instead of a head, there is tangled seaweed, and the revenant's chilling cry freezes mortal blood to ice. Draugen has the power to enter the dreams of the living. If you wake from such a dream, you have been spared, though someone close to you. That's enough of that. It's nonsense, of course. Not something a child should be reading. Do you think Draugen took our boat? Maybe he's out there, on the fjord, waiting for nightfall so he can return to shore. No. And... Your soul lacks poetry, Edward Charles Harden. I pity you. Jeg har tro på det at drøgene har tatt Betty. Det må være Ruth og Simons fader. Kanskje. De var ikke på de beste termene. De så ut som de ville kjøre hverandre. Til en barn, kanskje det så ut som det var. 
Children are more insightful than you give them credit for, Teddy Bear. Hmm. Hmm. She made her bed that morning. Before she... Or her parents did. It doesn't matter. It tells us nothing. Why are you like this today? Betty's not the only person in the world that matters. She matters the most to me. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Good for me. Then can you some leaf? On Bjorn and Gris. Okay. Ruth never finished this. What does that spell? F O R B. For Banelson. The curse. Who's that figure supposed to be? It's creepy. It looks a bit like the dragon in her book. A figment of her imagination. But the box she drew. It looks like this box under her desk. Really? Let me see. Pull it out. Oh, I can find the egg up there. Oh, hey there. What is this? I believe this might qualify as actual treasure. Is that Norwegian money? Sort of, but ancient. Viking coins. Are they valuable? Not in terms of monetary value, but historically. Well, they belong in a museum. Looks like Ruth had her own private museum. Why would a child have these artifacts? She must have enjoyed collecting and playing with them. These are much too precious to play with. She should have given these to an adult. She's... She was a child, Edward. To her, they were just... Shiny toys. Wait! The pin! On the doll! This is where it came from. Her collection. But where did she find these treasures? If we're to believe her drawing, perhaps the mine. She may have found a gravesite. Wherever she found them, she wanted to keep them hidden. You think someone found out? These items wouldn't necessarily be worth much, except to a historian or archaeologist. What if this is how... I mean, if someone learned she'd been collecting treasures, they might be willing to do terrible things. I don't think so far, so long, though. so snail. There's a story here. The treasure box, the drawings. The overactive mind of an imaginative child. Well, she didn't imagine the Viking artifacts. You shouldn't be so dismissive. The drawings could be her way of dealing with traumatic this events. This is what happens when I read you the principles of psychology. You get notions. You say that like it's a bad thing. Ruth was troubled. The village was troubled. And is that a bell? A church bell. Someone's here. Maybe... Betty. Why would Betty ring the church bell? Perhaps she's in trouble. I need to get to the church right now. Wait, isn't it more likely to be the person you saw the other night? We I should be careful. I told you, I'm not sure that was anything. Come on. Go ahead. I'll catch up with you before you get there. I need a minute to think about... about all of this. Are you coming? In a minute. You go on ahead. Okay, well, for I know, so they will spill it for Bjelle now. Oh, that's not good. Not good in the whole thing. Hey, what are you doing? Det var oppe der borte der, ja. Kanskje vi skal finne ut og sjekke ut låven etter hvert her? Jeg må bare ta en... 
på en tegne. Tegne eller en spinn. Dødsviktig å tegne nå. Nei. Å, vær så snill ikke kom et monster. Jeg vil ikke ha drevken. Da fikk vi i hvert fall lære litt om drevken, da. At det er et monster som tar folk om natten. July 24th. Memorial service. A commemoration of the accident at the mine this past summer. No services after that. Hvorfor er alle da i det med denne plinger, da? Hvor som er at jeg drog tråkke på graven min. Jeg skal se om det ligger noen grav her. For det her er gravla han var som hang. Ut for meg. All these fresh graves. Oh, thank you for the support. Do you think that maybe no. Betty? No, I'd know. But you wouldn't understand. Elizabeth and I, we have a a bond. God, Edward, your obsession with her is really starting to grate. Should I say more just to her? Why board up a church? To keep the ghosts from escaping? Regardless of how they got past the boards, there's someone in there. Good, I can't. Who did this? Someone who'd lost their faith. Gone fishing? God is not here. Well, of course he isn't. You won't find God in a church. God is the wind in the trees, the grass between your toes, the brook that That's runs through. That's nature. Not God. Can you peek through the boards? Oh, you can wait on the boards, sir. See anyone? No. Listen, I... the bell. They're still in there. There have been Jesus. There are some lamps that have been lit in there. Det minner meg litt om noen av kjerkene her, men... Hello? I heard the bell! This is giving me I'm here to help! Jeebies. These boards look flimsy enough to break. Kom igjen, da. Dette er ikke bra. Ja, vi må bare ha litt svart for at det tar så himla av det. The Ethel becomes an Edward. I didn't think you had it in you, old fruit. Be quiet. How about not? I think it's normal. Betty, are you here? Hello, this is Edward Harden. I'm looking for my sister, Stop Elizabeth. Stop shouting, Edward. We're alone. There are only ghosts here. There are no ghosts. I don't know about that. So I get. Oi. What's this rope for? The bell. This is the bell we heard ringing? I don't see any other bells. So you have to stand here and pull this rope to ring it? Yes. But there was no one here. You didn't see anyone, right? No, no one. Ghosts. I'm telling you, it's ghosts. So what happened to the hunchback of Grovik? They must be here still. There's only the one exit. Maybe it was the wind. A church bell's too heavy. It can't have been the wind. I mean, uh, I don't know. 
Maybe it was the wind. Lissy. Look. Betty's gloves. They are definitely Betty's. Oh, for she Pete's got sake. these in Boston before she left for New York. She bought them at Woolworth. I remember the day she. She's here. Where? And why would she leave her clothes lying around? It doesn't make Bread sense. Breadcrumbs. She's sending me a message. She knew I'd recognize her gloves, her hat. She's left a trail for me to follow, like Ariadne's red thread. We're not in the lab. Betty will have left more crumbs. Betty, 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 you're turning into such a pill. Slutten av lyset er bare at hver gang vi utforsker noe nytt, så dukker det opp en eller annen gjenstand som tilhører Betty, unnskyld meg, det er en lapp der. 